So this shot was done with a wide lens and while I kind of like it, I'd like this to be a bit more straight. Even though it's slightly bending, I'd like it to be very straight. And the second issue I have with this shot is if I look closer to it, it's a 4K shot, but I do have like some uh, chromatic aberration, which I'd like to uh, correct. So lens distortion will help me with that. Let's see, I'll do fit, just drag and drop fit. Um, so you can either use a grid, if you did shot a grid, you can use the grid to try to find the perfect values to undistort it. But right now I'll just do it by looking at it visually and see how it goes straighter and I have two values. The first one will get that distortion and the cubic one is kind of working mostly on the on the angles of it. So just by playing with those values I'll set that to zero because it doesn't have so much cubic distortion on it. But this there we go. Looks a bit more straight. I can just and scale it and see how the distortion did apply on it. This line looks a bit more straight now. If I just remove it, I'll set that back to one and check before and after. And for the chromatic aberration, I have two parameters for this one. Um, just to get better quality, I'll check use subsampling and now I have a better quality over it. And so I have two parameters for chromatic aberration. I do have the red and cyan values and the blue and yellow. And this one is obviously red and blue. So I'll just move this around and see oops, the other row around and I'll move it until I don't see it anymore. So three, maybe four looks good. And so now it's perfectly raised. And yeah, that's it. My footage now is distortion kind of free, even though it's a wide angle and chromatic aberration free. But you could also use it the other way around and use it in a more artistic way and pushing the, the chromatic aberration and the distortion if you like to on your footages. There we go, lens distortion.